Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to another game. All right, we are playing Natalia from France. France. Cool. Doing our usual C6 opening against E4. Everyone should be pretty familiar with this one at this point. I actually don't mind D5 and then recapturing with the E pawn here. Um, I think that is a viable strat. Yeah. And I get Lucrasanted here. I did not get Lucrasanted. Very surprised. Shocking. That is shockingly shocking. <laughs> Can't really push the knight out. Kind of forced to play e6 here. Kind of just want to get the knight out, if I'm being honest. I need to start experimenting with the early knight c7 in the Karokan. I think it's good. I have varying results when I try the knight pin here on b4. Let's go for it. I'm just going to look to castle as fast as I can. Mm -hmm. I can either go knight C7, uh, D7. Was I saying C7? I meant D7. I need to go knight d7, then castle, or just castle now. I think I'm just going to look for the really early castle here. He goes for the really early castle as well. It's kind of just like finish the development here. Probably expecting a3 next. I think if he pushes a3, it's better for me to trade. I think I've been in this position before. And uh, from what I remember, <clears throat> taking a5 is worse here. I'm not taking a5, but sort of retreating back to a5 is worse. That's kind of what I meant to say. But this fell on c8. I'm trying to get a lot better about moving all the pieces and then developing or excuse me developing then attacking i know it's like my worst habit so this knight is pinned i could either go just rook e8 here can't quite push the pawn he has two attackers but then again i have two defenders so let me think about i actually might be able to push c5 here so c5 takes Knight takes, bishop takes, rook takes. Having the rook out here on c5, I don't know. Kind of weird. But I think it does work, though. I mean, I'm basically developed, right? I mean, all my pieces are out, minus my queen. Mm, yeah, sure. Decides to not go for that. Um, just gonna open up the C file for the rook here. I'd probably take with his queen, I imagine. Probably go B6 next if he takes with the queen, just protect this pawn. I could 
possibly try to go for this pawn here on c2 since uh, the rook is defending. But I don't know. It seems like a weird idea that I don't particularly love. So we'll just defend the pawn. I'm happy to go for this trade here. I need to start thinking about getting the queen out. Also, um, this knight is a bit uh, rough here. Um, I think f5 is a better spot for this knight. It's, the reason why it's rough is because uh, if I move the queen, it's going to be loose. So I'll just go target his a dark square bishop there. If I can get his dark square bishop, I can win the c2 pawn. Uh, but he just retakes with the knight. Never mind. Now, if he retakes with the knight, I can still win this uh, e pawn. I think he should push c3. Just so his pawn can recapture on d4. I think. Yeah, good move by him. Tend to agree with that move. Hmm. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm going to have an open file for my rook here, which I don't know, seems okay. Now we have to start thinking. I don't quite want to put my queen out here. If I put my queen out of here, he just puts his rook here. And then uh, I'm kind of in a weird spot. Can't really go anywhere with the knight at the moment. Can't attack his queen. Honestly, I think f6 is the best idea here. Since I have uh, three attackers on f6, I actually tend to do okay. I think when the pawn f6 gets pushed and it kind of opens up the center here, or opens up for the attack, I guess. I'm just going to try it. I don't think I have a better move here. He decides to go for that. It's interesting. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. Maybe connecting the rooks is just the best idea. Debating which two squares I want to move my queen to. I want to say e7. Why? Not sure. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> what if I just push up here?
Could try to go a5 and just offer the uh, trade here, maybe. Hmm. I'm not quite sure what to do in this position here. I want to improve my position, but how? Maybe like rook f7 and then stack the rooks or something? I don't know. I like the idea of the trade here. I feel like that pawn is going to be really weak here on a5, though. Um. No, I'm just going to try it. It's the worst that can happen. Worst that can happen is I lose. And then all the progress for the day will be lost. Mm -hmm. I wonder if I just get both rooks out here. Hmm. Pawn e5 as well. Not the worst. I can just trade knights off. I think I'm just going to go for it. No, no, I can't quite trade the knights off. What am I saying? Forget. Oh, wow. He actually, uh, actually took with the knight. I think I'm okay with this. Interesting. I can shove my queen over here on f7. Try to get the pawn. Maybe he'll block in with the queen. Open up the g file or something. I think he'll just push a pawn up. But, um... I think that's actually better for me if he pushes up this F pawn, so I'm gonna try it. Yeah. If I push up, I'm losing a pawn. The heck did we do? Maybe I get my rook out of here. Offer the trade and then try to scope this pawn afterwards. Very even game, I will say. Very even game. Hmm. Interesting move. Let's him get his rook out. Is that good though? T 
takes out the pawn. That's very peculiar. I guess the only downside here is that I don't have a great way of pushing stuff up. I'm kind of, I'm tempted to bring the king in, but I'm kind of tempted not to as well. I kind of want to trade rooks off over here on c4 and let the pawn breathe. And then try to bring the king in. Yeah, rook, I'm thinking like rook c8 at this point. Also, this pawn can't be defended. I think I think for this pawn to be defended, um, so like if I were to go rook f5, he'd have to go rook e4 to protect it. And then I could possibly try to break open. Yeah, rook f5 seems tempting, but I'd rather kind of just trade the rooks off because I feel like I'm better off. Hmm. Rook f5, he'll go e4. Let me think. I don't want to let him fix his pawn. I kind of like this pawn structure, so I think I'm just going to go for the uh, this the rook c4 idea here. Try to recapture or try to recapture with the pawn on c4 and see if I can just push it. He may have to go like what would he do to protect That's very peculiar. I could go pin this pawn. Actually, I, th I still think c4 is better here. So if I go c4, he's forced to take. Right? Because if he doesn't take, I mean, he's just losing. But then if he moves back. I'm just winning the pawn too, so I think I'm going to stick with the c4 idea. I don't know about the pawn move. Honestly, I think f4, c4 were both valid moves here. I feel like this is worse for him. Now I can get my king involved. And how does he push these, right? The big boys are coming in. Yeah. He's probably going to be looking to take this pawn here, I imagine. I want to block him off from going this way for some reason. I mean, where's he really going to go, right? So rook is a bit stuck here. Maybe I should have protected this pawn with the king. Or tried to get my king over here, actually. Maybe that's the play, is getting the king over here. Hmm. Um, I think that's the play, actually, is trying to get the king to remove this pawn. I mean... Brother, if you want to take this pawn, oh, uh, he'll be taking. I guess he'll be winning this pawn first. Mm 
Maybe moving the king here wasn't such a great idea. Let me think. Boom. Mm, I can still protect it. Let me think about this. Just feel like I'm going to lose this pawn. I think I think I kind of made a mistake with uh, King E7 here. Yeah, I think King E7 was a mistake. My king is cut off from going this way too. Um, yeah, and if I cross over, I kind of want to bring the rook up this way. So my king can try to slide in over here. Hmm. Hmm. Just think. Rook C six seems like the play for some reason. I figure if he attacks the rook here, which, or excuse me, if he attacks the pawn, I could push up, but I can't here. Really annoying position. Oh, now I can't get my king in here to like attack this way. Now my king is kind of trapped on all fronts, except for this square here. But even then, uh, yeah, my king is basically cut off on all these squares. I don't know. I guess I just have to make moves. Hmm. Interesting. So he'll be winning this pawn. Just think, boom. Well, if I go here, he's trapped. He can't get here. He's like forced to move back or something. I think he's going to promote first. I think that's my big problem here. I think I kind of have to push him away this way. Yeah. Uh, I'm really lucky that b4 over here is protected. So he's forced to go back. But then again, I can't come any closer either. I'm almost tempted to just offer the draw here. I think it's a draw. Hmm. Yeah, we can't do anything. We're both stuck. Just gonna offer the draw to him. Yeah. Yeah.
I, I, I think draw was the best idea here, honestly. Um, let me see if I made any big mistakes in the end game there. Nope, that was just an insanely even game. This is by far probably the most stable game I've ever had. And I've never played a game where me and the opponent were so close in accuracy and the advantage never really swung. I mean, maybe there was this one tiny move here. And oh, I was talking about this pawn move, but it just seemed risky because I was going to lose a pawn in the process. Oh, well, but honestly, um, yeah, honestly, good game to the opponent. Taking the trade here was very, um, what do you call it? Very hard to pass up. There was like almost no reason not to take the trade there. I'm sure there was some crazy engine line where, you know, I take his pawn here. I mean, let's just look at the moves or whatever. Let's just see what the engine has to say. Yeah. So. Realistically speaking, things probably wouldn't have played out this way. <laughs> right? I mean, let's be real, it's 900 ELO chess. But, uh, that was a good game. It was nice to have a game where um, neither one of us just made horrendous moves. So that was fun. But uh, yeah, Natalia, GG, thanks for the game, and see you guys in the next one.